so nothing like sculpting to deal with a little insomnia. Couldn't really sleep, so it's five o'clock in the morning right now. Discovered that using a um, this is a uh, Bondo uh, trowel applicator, whatever you want to call it. Um, now what I did is go in ahead and I took some sandpaper and cleaned the edge off so it was kind of a lot smoother. Cleaned up all the Bondo that was on there and sanded that down as well. Um, if you can see that, I've end up with a bit of a bend there and that's worked to my advantage. What basically what I've ended up doing is starting from mid bend, so like not tip but on the inside, and I'm just going in and as I'm pushing down I'm putting a lot of pressure on the clay and this is actually really really super smooth. You can feel where there's still bumps and such, but like if the whole surface was this smooth, I'd be ready for casting. So, you know, for uh, for a large surface, something like this works. Um, it'll be interesting to see what my uh, what the steel scrapers uh, that I've got coming in next week do, because I'll have them on like tomorrow or Tuesday. So, I probably if even if I do finish it, I probably won't uh, I won't cat I won't mold it till Friday. Um, but yeah, you can just go right in and put tons of pressure on it. And basically all it's going to do is it's just going to pick whatever little bit of clay, because it's not a lot, it's, it's right on the surface. This is, you know, it's, it's totally cold clay, so it's, it's like, it's flexible, but it, it still has that give. Uh, so it's just going to drag the clay on top of the clay, and what that's doing is going to fill in all the holes um, that can be. Some of them are really, really deep, so those, that's why I've got bits of clay here that I can go back in and you know add some clay, and then just drag that back down. But this is in, this is coming in really, really nice and smooth. So you can see there where it's dragging. This is smooth and then it comes down to that where it's you know it's it's a deform. So basically that's all you're doing is you just you're smoothing that down until you find those spots. You know, you can add a little bit of clay. It's dragging even more. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. So I've got that that gouge to deal with. So yeah, to get something really, really smooth with clay, it's work in progress. Especially if you're looking for a mirror finish. Like once I've finished the whole thing and it's this smooth, I'm gonna go over it with some rubbing alcohol. And that'll just help finish it off. You see that's pretty much almost gone. do short strokes because basically you end up with uh, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wreck my piece but if it was on this like if I was to do a short stroke you can see how that drags from one point to another and then it just stops now because this is a nice slanted piece you can go in always have a cloth nearby clean it off Puts a little bit of moisture on it, so it's actually going to help it slide. And 
It's just drags. So there's no uh, there's no finish lift up on the clay. It's all. That's a nice finish. But yeah, easily, one of these. Put a bit of a bend in it. Make sure the uh, the edge is nice and clean. You know, a couple swipes, wipe it down. Adds a little bit of moisture on there. And you keep doing that until you get the, uh, the finish you're looking for.